over on the Xbox 360 bad update repo, we saw that a new version 1.1 has just dropped. Now, what was added in this was they added a game save exploit for Rock Band Blitz, and now you can start utilizing that instead of spending a whole pile of money on this game, which is Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. So let's look at how we can get started with this right now. Okay, and so the first thing that you're going to want to do is to download a series of files. So the first one to download is the Xbox 360 BAT Update Retail USB 1.1 .zip. And then after you download that, we are going to take advantage of this other application that is called FreeMyXE. So it does state right here that the Xbox 360 executable designed to apply freedom, unlocking patches to the kernel and the hypervisor for use with Xbox 360 bad update. So what you will need to do here is go over to the releases here and just download the beta 2 as I am showing right here. Once you do that, we will go ahead and download something called XEX menu because this is going to allow us to launch all of our different types of homebrew. So scroll down here and download XEX menu 1.1, which is the live version of it. Now we also need the demo of Rock Band Blitz, and you can download the demo just right here. It brings you over to a Google Drive and download the demo. Now a couple of other things that you will want to go ahead and get is a copy of WinRAR, as well as you might want to use this FAT32 format tool that I use to format your USB drive in a FAT32 format. Now, you can obviously do this over on the console, but I just prefer doing this through Windows. Okay, and so once you get all of that complete, go ahead and format your USB drive in FAT32 and insert it into your PC. So right here, I've got a USB drive and that USB drive is formatted over here in FAT32. Now, you can get yours formatted with FAT32 by using this program called FAT32, and I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Now, once you do that, you will need to go ahead and make sure you have downloaded the four files that I have shown you a bit earlier. And so how to get all of this installed is, is that we will first go over to the Xbox 360 bad update version 1.1 and I'll go into that and we are going to use Rock Band Blitz. So I'm going to select that one and then from in here we're going to select all of the contents and then just copy that right over to the root of our USB drive. Okay and so now that that is complete you will want to go ahead and get the Rock Band demo on your Xbox 360. So the Rock Band Blitz trial that I linked to, we're going to go right here where it shows content, and we're just going to drag and drop that on top of everything that we had before. And so give it just a moment, and it will have the demo copied over. Okay, and now that is successful. We'll go ahead and close out of this window. So now we have the bad update that has been copied over and we have the trial game that has been copied over. Now let's go ahead and copy over the beta 2 of Free My XE. So we'll come in here and right there is the file and I'm going to go into the bad update payload and we're going to take the default.xex and we'll just go ahead and delete that and we're going to say yes there. And now we're going to take the XEX and just drag and drop it over here. And once that is finished, we're just going to select rename and we will name that default.xex. And then the last thing that we are going to need is we are going to copy over the XEX menu. So we'll just go ahead and open that up. And we're just going to copy that into our zero folder here. So I'm going to select code and I'm going to drop that right in here and give it just a moment to finish. Okay, once you have everything complete, it should look just like this. 
where you have the bad update payload with your modified default.xex. You have a content folder that has the zeros right up here at the top. This one is the Rock Band Blitz game. And this right here was the bad update. And then you will have a folder here called code, which goes to XEX menu. Okay, let's go ahead and put that in our Xbox 360. Okay, so I've went ahead and I've powered up my Xbox 360. And if you were using the previous version of Tony Hawk's American Wasteland, you had to set up a special profile from the memory card. If you are using this Rock Band Blitz demo, then you do not have to do that anymore. Now, I just went ahead and created a default Player One account with just some stock avatars and so forth. You will need to at least have a profile on your account, at least in my early stages of testing. So now if you go over to Games and you go to My Games, you will see right here Rock Band Blitz. And since this is a retail Xbox 360 demo, that means you can just press the A button here and you can launch it. Now, we also have XEX Menu 1.2. That one won't run at the moment, but it will in just a second once we get our Xbox jailbroken. So let's go ahead and launch Rock Band Blitz. And so now that Rock Band Blitz is loading up here, we are just going to need to get it to a loading screen here. And then finally, it will set here and be waiting for the exploit. So again, once it gets to the screen, you are basically going to be waiting for about 15 to 20 minutes in order for this to trigger. Okay, and if you do see this screen right here, this is absolutely fantastic because we do see that we are running the beta 2 and it says about to start patching the hypervisor and the kernel and it also gives us our CPU key. So we're gonna go ahead and press A on that. And we can see right here that the hypervisor and the kernel have been patched. And then it gives you a little bit more information and we're going to select yay on that. And at this point, we should be back to our main menu. Okay, great. So now let's go over to where it says games here. And I'm going to go to my games. And then when we just installed XEX menu on our USB drive, now we're going to be able to actually run this. So we'll hit A here just to launch. And isn't this so amazing and cool? We now have XEX menu running on an unmodified stock Xbox. 360. So that is so very cool. So we can hit the RB button here. And from here, we can see any of our homebrew content that we may have added. And you would be able to launch that directly from here. Now, I'm not going to go into installing and downloading different types of homebrew, but I believe if you've made it to this point, you should be able now to go ahead and launch a number of different games. Anyways, thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael.